guys have good energy. I love this crowd. You guys are amazing. All right, well, the next guest coming out thrives on connecting people and creating collisions from small gatherings to over 1,000 leaders at his Impact Conference, which happens right here in Las Vegas at City Center every single year. Your next guest is also the CEO of KCOM, which is a full-service internet marketing and public relations firm with over 1,000 clients worldwide. And not to mention, he is also the founder and chairman of the Board of Internet Marketing Association. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. It now has over a million professional members, 150 business partners, which include big names we've all heard of, like Adobe, Oracle, and Microsoft. Now, so ladies and gentlemen, even though I'm winded, please help me by welcoming Sinan. Come on out. Sinan. What up? Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Uh, make sure the knees are touching. It's Please. the thing I learned about interviews. Can I hold hands no, I'm just okay. kidding. Okay, so we all, we already know that you are an expert at knowing people, right? Like you spend a lot of your life focusing on people first, and then the businesses that come after. But we wanted to put you to a new challenge today. So, oh. have you ever heard of the game Guess Who from childhood? I think my two-year-old daughter just learned how to play it. Oh, yeah. Well, we're now. Um, but but this would be good because I don't know how good you are at networking with monkeys. Or, I, I deal with or, them sometimes. Or, or, bur okay. or birds or snakes sure. or turtles. So everybody can see the game and guess who is set here. So um, just while we were doing the interview, I thought we could play a quick game. So okay. you know how it works? Yeah, you taught me upstairs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought this was everyone's childhood. I Am thought I you would just know it. the only one that's yeah. not drinking? In fact, sure. has any guest ever bought everyone in your audience a drink? No, you know. This is an Oprah moment, or is this like, are you, it doesn't ever happen. I'm gonna no. buy everyone a drink. So you have to. Okay. All right. Yes. Everybody. I'm a volunteer. Okay. I'm a volunteer. Seriously. We get it too. That way, if my jokes suck, you're still gonna like me. So, okay? All right. This is, I do the whole show for drinks. Like, I, well, this is I'm like, gonna this buy is everyone like what the whole thing one is drink. About. One drink, though, okay? Then we close the tap. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, am I the, the um, monkey? Anyways, yeah. So, no. Okay, so, the, so the first question is: um, Tell me something personal about your own life, and does your animal live in the water? So, like let, let me just see. You know, I see an animal here that I'm going to call out. You know, and and it reminds me of what I've had to go through in business because there's a lot of these sort of animals out there that are oh, trying okay. to attack you. So there's this vibrant startup community here in downtown Vegas that just I'm so attracted to. And, and my friend Tony got me involved with a lot of the startups that are here. And I'm so inspired by so many people in the audience. And the thing that is very personal to me were all the struggles that I went through in starting my businesses. Because every, every step of the way, I just felt like, hey, it should get better, but it never got better. It got worse. Oh. And it was such a hardship. Closing the doors. Yeah. And so with that, it, it's, it's nice to kind of be at a point now where some things have gone right. And all I want to do is kind of give back and help anyone who's starting up a business down here in downtown Vegas. Or if you're part of a business and you feel like a door is shut on you and you're just looking for an outlet for leadership or just connections to people, um, I want to be your outlet. And so that's something that has become a passion of mine. Yeah. And so based on the people that were trying to attack me, can you guess what animal that is? Oh, okay. Well, the fish, I think he's out because he's in water and you don't spend much time. You're a bowler, right? Yeah. You said you, that was one of your yeah. passions. You like bowling on the side. Bowling as in um, not like legalized marijuana. I'm talking yeah. about like spin, <laughs> well, I, Yeah. You I know? usually am thinking in the gutter, but I'm wrong. I'll take anyone to the nearest bowling lane and I'll play you one game. All right. And if you beat me, okay. All three of the dogs are too happy. The okay. snake is definitely in the running. That, that bird is the in the running. That oh, I was it. There's so many snakes in business. I'm sure you guys are dealing with that. Look, I'm not trying to get philosophical, but you know what? Just the snake. I just closed this guy out. I've never thing. even played this game, so I guess I won, right? But you did a good job. Did I you mention I'm buying won. everyone drinks in this interview over yet? But seriously, there's a lot of snakes out there that try and take you down in business, and that was one of my greatest hardships, uh. where they're just getting attacked over and over again. And you know, if you're honest, you're integral, you do the right thing, everything always works in your favor. Maybe not in the short term, but long term, that integrity is very important. And just step okay, on so, those so, Okay, so building off, building off that a little bit, there, um, I've definitely started noticing sometimes in my life when connecting people helped me a lot more than I would have thought it would. Right. Um, but, I, but there's always this sort of struggle in your head, is, especially you're putting together these events with extremely high-powered people. How are you rating only so many people can fit at the table. How do you rate them without feeling sort of inhuman and not measuring net worth and things like that? Like, what are you using to make sure that the right people get together and 
You know, I just kind of think of everyone's like naked and showers, right? So like, oh, okay, hey, yeah. just we all have to shower. deal with reality, right? We're human beings. So there's really no judgment on someone's influence or how high they are on the totem pole. It's really right. the feeling that you have. And some people are billionaires and some people are, are you know, completely broke. Uh, but the reality is we're given one chance at life and you want to make the best you can out of it. So when we bring leaders together, you know, I just think everyone's equal. And that's why at our conferences, we'll have the very top multi-billion dollar companies and their top CEOs, but we'll also have a startup that's inspired by that CEO sitting at that same table and connecting ideas and helping each other grow. Because people that are at the top with their career really aren't at the top in their personal life. And there's a lot that people can share with one another. And you know, as, as Tony and, and a lot of you guys talk about collisions here, it's something that we really believe in as well. And you can collide ideas and, and you know, of people that, that maybe are not like-minded with you, but if they're at the same table, you'll kind of kind of gel together. Yeah, well, now you're getting everybody a drink. Like, yeah. that'll be, right. Yeah, probably. I can see a lot of these people mixing together. Absolutely. OK, so um, what, what advice do you have for these? So they're all about to get drunk with each other. OK. Like, there probably is some, some two people in here are, would make the most valuable connection. How do we, what, what's the advice to help that happen? Yeah, you know, just treat people the way you would want to be treated and, and listen more than talk. My wife taught me that, you know, because I would always <laughs> be, like, looking over people's shoulders to see who I can network with next. But sometimes it's better to just walk into a room and stay in one spot and really focus on that one individual and have a deeper conversation and build a deeper layer of trust because that will layer into all sorts of other benefits. And some people will recognize yeah, you and come sense, to yeah. you. So that's one of the things that, that I've learned is, is just listen more. Uh, and then teamwork, you know, work with people. Don't try and own and control all the power or influence in a situation. Really try and share that and recognize that person and say, hey, you're doing a great job and you should be recognized for it and try and give them recognition within their business and don't take credit for it. And like a boomerang, it'll come back. It's called good karma. It's happened to right, me multiple times. Yeah. And you know, if you really just focus on doing the good for people enough times, it's like gambling out there, right? You hit enough of those numbers on roulette, one of those numbers are gonna hit, it's gonna pay 33 to one. Right, and when it doesn't, it cost, you, when it doesn't cost you to spin the wheel, right, like, it's exactly. just about you going yeah. out and helping. So do you have any good examples of somebody that you talked to and thought, you know, I, they're just a good person, but I don't see how anything's gonna come from it, and then later, to your surprise, like they did connect with somebody and change the world, or? Yeah, I mean, a lot of my friends that are here, Chad, Keith, Joe, Dylan, yeah. I mean, it's amazing how you meet somebody and then like a couple months later they come back at you and they say, hey, we wanna feature you in a magazine. We wanna feature you in your show. And to me, this is like the, the biggest benefit in, in what I do is helping others. So it comes around when you least expect it. So you know, my advice is don't ever try and plan who you're gonna meet. Don't try and tactically you know, prod someone out and just try and stalk them and meet them. Really just let nature take its course and just you know, have good hygiene, have good, you know, table side <laughs> manners. I mean, just shaking the armpits. You yeah. don't smell. I don't no. smell. You know, I mean, if you don't smell, that's a head start, right? So, right. I mean, you got to start somewhere. No, we can all not smell. I know, seriously. That, that, that's that, that, what that's we a need. good start, yeah. All right, seriously. thanks for teaching us about yeah, hygiene. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Everybody, check them out. It's good. Get in, Mark. Okay. <laughs> okay, before you, before you. <laughs> Before you totally run off, tell them, what, what, tell them about the conference, tell them every place we can do it here in Vegas to help you. Right, so we have had impact here in Las Vegas for the last six years. It's at ARIA. This year it's September 23rd through the 25th. Uh, we'll have a thousand executive marketing folks from large companies and small companies. Um, but I'd like to invite all of you as my guests to come check it out and meet our folks. And you know, like I said, you know, there's big, time people there, but there's also startup people, and we want to bring them all together and blend ideas together. So uh, let me know. Just follow up with our website and email me. I have 50 business cards. I think we have maybe 150 <laughs> people. So cut them into thirds and just divide them up. Um, and, you know, I'd love to have you as my guest and just kind of share some of our uh, contacts uh, with all of you. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. Be around. Thanks. Come say hi to him. Say, all right. Thanks. Thanks.